Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we will show you how to upgrade or replace the hard drive in a late 2009 revision MacBook. We have already transferred our data, gathered the tools listed at the beginning of this video, are working on a static free surface, and have shut down the computer. We are now ready to begin. After shutting down your MacBook, close the lid and flip it over. There are a total of 8 Phillips screws that will need to be removed. We are going to start with the top 4. Then we will remove the bottom 4. Once all 8 screws have been removed, simply lift up on the bottom cover in order to detach the clips on the inside. Once they are detached, you may set the bottom cover aside. The hard drive is located here, in the lower right corner of the MacBook. Loosen these two screws to remove the retainer bar that holds the hard drive in place. Use the plastic tab to lift the hard drive out of the case, then pull the SATA connector free of the drive. Using your Torx 6 screwdriver, remove the four retaining posts from the drive. Finally, gently peel the plastic tab from the drive. You may now set the original drive aside. Attach the four retaining posts you removed from the original drive in the same positions on the new drive. Then, stick the plastic tab to the drive in the same position as well. There should be enough residual adhesive left to allow it to stick. Attach the SATA cable to the connector on the new drive. Then slide it into place the same way the old one came out. Replace the black retaining bar making sure the raised side is facing towards the drive. Then tighten the two screws that hold it in. You may now place the bottom cover back into place. Then, replace the 8 screws you removed earlier. You may now flip your MacBook back over open it up, and turn it on. 